Tribe, it's Riley. So today I'm gonna be answering a question that a lot of people write in with, whether it's through our website on chat or emails. They ask, why can't I just sleep in my hammock with a sleeping bag? Um, the biggest problem with this, and let me just show you. So we have our uh, double hammock here, and this is a Summit 20. So let me just get inside this and show you why this is not a good option. All right, so I'm inside my Summit 20. What you'll notice is, so first off, let me just explain insulation a little bit. The reason that insulation is warm, in this case, the down insulation, is because it's, it's lofting up and creating dead air space. So it's creating space between my body and the outside cold air, and it's trapping that air, so my body is warming that up. So, that's great, and on the top there's a lot of loft, but as you can see underneath, and as you can imagine, my body weight is compressing that down insulation underneath me. Sleeping in a hammock, you get what we call cold butt syndrome, right? So your butt and your back is going to be right up against that cold air, and you're gonna get cold throughout the night. So that's why uh, sleeping inside of a sleeping bag really isn't an option. So ideally, from here, you would use something like an under quilt. Um, we sell some of those. Uh, you could use our mummy pod system, but something we wanted to test and something I wanted to talk about is actually using a sleeping pad, particularly an insulated sleeping pad. Um, it has the insulation inside, so this is creating the de dead airspace underneath you. Generally, you would use this on the ground with a sleeping bag or a top quilt, but uh, what I'm going to try to do tonight is I'm going to try to use this in my hammock sleeping on top of this. I've actually never done it before. Maybe some of you have and you could tell us about it in the comment section how it went. But I'm gonna go ahead and try this tonight and check back with you in the morning and let you know how it went. Uh, you'll hear from me soon. All right, so I just wanted to say before I sign off for the night, um, I'm actually pretty impressed. So I'm using our insulated long wide sleeping pad, which is like something crazy. It's like four inches thick, which is really comfortable. Usually you have to deflate the sleeping pad a little bit so that it forms to the hammock. Um, and with thinner sleeping pads, you'll, you'll be right back with the same problem of it being compressed underneath where all your weight is. So I'm actually pretty impressed so far. It feels like there's cushion underneath everywhere and I'm not feeling any cold spots. So yeah, we'll see how this goes, but so far I'm pretty hopeful. Hey guys, so here's the morning update on how it went sleeping in the sleeping bag in the hammock. Um, so it actually was not that bad and, and I also had, I had a pad as well so that's really important. I had an insulated pad. Comfort wise, I'd give it about a 7 out of 10. It was actually pretty comfortable because of the pad I was able to lay pretty flat in the hammock which, which uh, helped me um, be quite comfortable. So I didn't wake up until about 5.30 this morning. When I woke up at 5.30 it was because I had actually shifted off of the pad and my whole right shoulder, my right arm was, was pretty cold because it was just against the hammock. So um, temperature wise it was really warm until I ended up off of the pad. And I'd say that's the main um, downside to using this configuration is just you shift around during the night and you end up um, off of the pad and then you're really cold. You kind of slide down the pad and your feet get cold. So I ended up shifting around a lot. Only woke up once though at 5.30, then uh, fell back asleep until about 8. So would I recommend this? Um, if, you, if you have to sleep in a hammock with a sleeping bag, I would definitely say you at least need to have a pad underneath you. Um, but will I ever do this again? Probably not. Uh, what I would recommend um, instead of this is to have a full top quilt, under quilt setup, just like Carter's got one over there, so he's got his under quilt and top quilt. Um, I know for a fact that he slept pretty well because I heard him snoring until late in the morning, so um, that's going to be your best bet with hammock camping 
and that's going to be more consistent you're not going to slide off of any pad in that so that's what i recommend and this is why you can't sleep in a hammock with a sleeping bag if you do you're definitely going to need at least an insulated sleeping pad yeah so that's all the info i've got for you guys um, if you have any questions as always you can visit our website chat with us there if you want to know specifically um, what kind of gear you saw in this video and uh, yeah or you can email us at supported outdoor vitals so we'll see you next time